we've got a bit of a problem. I've just deleted all footage, but I've started filming by accident. Um, this job, it ain't got no going for it. It's it's last ditch attempt. They've tried all sorts. They've tried chemical. They've tried power washing it. They've tried everything. Even renderers we've rendered over it because they've got to remove what's on it first to get it to the stage where they can do some way it. Because what's happening is the finishings that's on it, there's bitumen on it, and then there's they've painted over it with some sort of like a rubberized paint, and it's uh, it's just it's just working as a bag on house. So it's basically putting a polythene bag on side of house, and it's just causing damp because all condensation on inside can't weep out. So I'm having to hit it quite hard, a lot harder than I wanted to. Um, I've explained it to, well I did a sample area this morning and um, we showed the customer what, what finish we're going to be like and he's like well it's got to be done because I can't get it off any other way so that's it. It's got bitumen and a rubber paint on it but I've lost the effort footage already so let's see if I can get some more.
welcome to another episode of what can go wrong will go wrong <laughs> now what look at this oh, better shot for you a better shot Right, I'm gonna have to figure a way out to fix that so I can get a one. Right, I just found this backup van. This is what I was looking for the other day to tie a ladder off with. Um, this is what I use for a ladder strap anyway. But. Oh, that does it. Beautiful, just press lock in. Let me. Uh, I do an unlock bun from in here. Oops. Oh no, that button's stuck. I suppose that was an easy fix. Just for peace of mind before I set off, I'm going to put this on. I don't want that swinging up and... Come on. I don't want that swinging up and not being able to put my handbrake on and then <laughs> be stuck. <laughs> Famous last words, that's going nowhere that. This is now an impossible, I can't see the box, I can't even see if it's all coming. I'm gonna have to go for it.
sins of CSCS card registration is I shall not mess with scaffolding in any way shape or form if you're not a scaffolder of course well you my friend don't live in the real world sometimes you've just got to I've got to get down there now and try and ugh. I don't know I've got to get that somehow might even put I was thinking of putting ladder so it were on that stop board there look where am I pointing that stop board there and running ladder up here and then I can walk up ladder but I don't think there's going to be enough room here I might just get down and see what it's like if I yeah I might just get down and see what it's like in case you're wondering this is Sam and the other ten close just up last Ah, it's like talcum powder. Just. Oh, it's back to split here. Here we go, roll one on one. That's a new bag, clean new bag. I don't know if you can see that. That's sort of shit you get in your bag, so always save it. That'll save you a cartload of work. I mean, like, nine hundred foot scaffolding, that one piece could cause me a world of pain. Let's see what's in next bag. Oh yeah, it's my son. It's a cardboard, that's not a problem because that'll blow through. Bits of paper and stuff, I'm happy with that. Look at it, number four. Oh, this one's pissing bust and all. I think it was in all my sand. Where do I get my media from? It's generally really clean stuff. I've, I've had some crap in the past, but this supplier, yeah, bang on really.
it done and like a true Yorkshireman he's decided to save send some money and do it cleaning up himself I've got it to ground anyway and I've washed scaffolding off so yeah no I've washed his roof off but his gutters are full on it so he's got that to do I've all I've explained that I don't know if that's picking it up but it looks a lot better from here not bad at all Job's done anyway, that's alright. Right, jobs like that, that's uh, just sandblasting a bad name. Because you don't know the backstory behind it. If you saw that job now, you'd just think that, yeah, he's hit it too hard, he's made a mess on it. Made a mess of face of brick. Well, I've removed two at last resort service, like, it's last resort service really. He's tried all sorts, he's tried, tried basically everything that he could think of, he even tried buffing it off with a grinder but it's just it's not feasible, they couldn't do it, it weren't feasible enough so he's had a rendering company out to try and solve damp issues they've turned around and said they're not going to render it because they need that finishing to come off so yeah, it, it needed to come off so the house could breathe and only way of getting it off was blasting it off well, only way there are now anyway to get it to the standard way, they can either get it rendered or or just joint it up and leave it as is, so yeah, I'm glad that one's over with. Ah, so I actually got a company come out to um, price him up on that job, and he um, told him it was going to take him four days each gable. So he's he's wanting he's wanting day rate on it, and he's saying it's going to take him eight days. Somebody starting out, I don't think that it'd take you eight days to do that. Even with a lower machine, a smaller machine, I don't think you're going you're to struggle to spend eight days on that. But I suppose that's how he might make his money, make it spin out a little bit. I don't know. But I'm not happy spending time on a job. I'd rather be at home spending it with my kids and my, my family. So I'd rather smash a couple of extra hours in to make sure that job's done. Price for job, look what we're going on there, eh? price per job. If um, if I was sending lads out, a couple of years ago when I had lads working for me, if I was sending lads out to do that job, I'd have probably said four days, maybe three to four, but I'd have expected more cleaning up from them. I'd have expected it cleaning up, but I, I, I worded it with customer. He knew exactly what to expect. He were happy that I'd wash building down and scaffolding because I didn't even quote for that I told him that I'd get blasting done and if there's any extra time I'll wash off so yeah there's there's quite a bit of cleaning up to do and I feel for him but perhaps I should have stopped a bit longer and helped him out but I didn't want him feeling compelled to pay him paying extra money to clean up I don't know what best thing to do with that on the road, it's probably not. He's happy, he's more than happy. He's actually on about painting it again. <laughs> but painting it with a breathable paint. Because what, um, like I said, the issue with his head was damp and he wanted to cure a damp issue, so he's had to get rid of that bitumen what we're on. That that will cause a bag, that will stop it from breathing. But there's been a, that paint on top, and it's very rare I've come across that sort of paint. Well, it's very rare that a paint that I, that I come across a finishing that I can't get off, that I can't remove. In fact, I, if it's on a, if it's on brick or stone, I'm ninety percent chance of getting it off. I've only ever I've only ever backed out of one job, but that was because I'd not got right gear on van, and I weren't I weren't experienced enough to know that. Whereas now I know what to expect and I know what gear to take. As long as I can see a photo on it or I've I've seen it in person, I know I know roughly what sort of finishing is and how quick it's gonna come off. So I just factor all that into my time frame. If you if you're struggling on how to price sum it up, all you gotta do is is know how much stuff, how much media you use, say per hour, for example. You work out how much it's gonna cost you per hour to run, then you work out how much you can live on per hour and how many hours of work that you're gonna do or intend on doing and that's your, that's your hourly rate and then you just know, you just work out how much 
how much time it's going to take you. You'll know, you'll know yourself after two or three jobs how long it's going to take you to do a job and that's that's your price whereas I think I get my work because the skill level is I'm not saying I'm up there with best but well I don't want to be on a pedestal because if you're on a pedestal you can, you can, get, you can always get knocked off you can't you can always get knocked down or there's always somebody better which there will be it's just that I've just decided to start filming it so doing a diary of what I do. I'm not saying stuff that I do straight way of doing it. I could be far from it, but it's working for me. Managing to make a living. Keeps me out of trouble. So uh, I think we'll end that video there. Catch you on next time.